Welcome guys to the first episode of my Unreal Engine's tutorial series and in this series I'm going to teach you guys how to build stuff in game. I have created a third person template. You can use any template you like as long as it has a camera in it. Um, usually all the games have a camera in it so <laughs> I think this should work with just about everything. And here were some default structures that I removed and I also rebuilt the lighting so that the shadows wouldn't glitch. So. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to implement some assets and do some small configurations to the project. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click in the content browser and I'm going to create a new folder called build mode. And we're going to store all the build mode assets in here. So I'm going to open this folder up and <clears throat> excuse me. And in here I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call this walls. I'm going to open this folder up as well and I have a few assets and I'm going to leave the uh, link down in the description. You can download these, they're free to use, they're made by my girlfriend but if you want to give these to a friend you can do that but do it for free. Don't sell these, I, for I forbid to sell these. So let's import all. Now we have our models, they're in white color right now. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select all of these textures and I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to create a material. I want to edit these a little bit so I'm going to open all of them up, all four balls, round shaped thingies. And here we have a lot of different parameters that we can do. We can make this metallic like, we can do specularity, shining, non-shining, roughness, elusive color, opacity, all kinds of parameters. But for this tutorial, all we're going to do is we're going to use specular. I'm going to drag from it and I'm going to type constant. And I'm going to leave this at zero, which means it's not going to shine at all. One is going to shine, zero, it's not going to shine. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of my textures. Constant, zero, save. Takes a few seconds to save the asset. So there we go, that should be it. And next thing I'm going to apply these textures to my models. So I'm going to open these now, I'm going to open all of them again at the same time. So here I have five different models. And there is a thing, uh, Unreal Engine has two types of collisions. So if you go up and you see this collision, you click on it and there is simple collision and complex collision. If we click on simple collision, you can see that it creates like a frame around it. And our character will not be able to walk through this because uh, Unreal Engine thinks this is just one cube. Well, sort of a cube. It has made a little rounded corners, but it still thinks it's a cube and we can't walk through it. So how do we fix it? So we open up our material. Uh, I mean model and here in the right side we scroll down a little bit till we get to the collision tab and here under the collision complexity we can change this to use complex collision as simple and now if we look at the complex collision you can see also before it already transferred it now makes this into a actual object that we have it calculates all the surfaces and creates a better collision box. So now we can walk through this actually in game. So one more thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the top and here under the material slot, I'm going to select this material and I need to search for my door 
simple material and that is this one and I'm gonna open up the floors for floors I will not change the collision because this well this is like a cube so our, I think our simple collision is good enough so I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna type in floor so we have a floor compile and save well only save this doesn't have, have a compile I don't have a texture for this one we didn't create it uh, but what I'm using is I'm using the wall texture and it looks good pretty much the same texture and for this one I'm also going to change the collision to use complex collision as simple because we should be able to fall through this and if we don't do that we're gonna walk on air here so I'm gonna save this as well now for the wall I'm gonna search for the wall there we go not gonna change collision on this one window I'm gonna look for window texture and I'm also going to change this collision so that we could actually see throw shoot whatever through the window save so now we have these things all set up we can delete this default material that got created because we don't need it no more so that's our floors walls and doors and windows and everything else we can press play we can check it out we can fall through this we can walk through door well and we can't walk through window but we can like step on it a little bit I guess so I'm gonna remove these we know we don't really need these just for the testing purposes I'm gonna go back to my build mode folder and here I'm gonna create one more folder and I'm gonna call this colors because when I'm going to build stuff in game I want um, I want my previews to have colors let's say I'm building on the ground I want it to be green when I am allowed to build it build in that position and I want it to be uh, red when I'm not allowed to build there so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create a material and I'm gonna call this first one green and I'm gonna create another material and call this one red I'm gonna open both of these and now you already maybe saw this probably did <laughs> if you were watching carefully I'm gonna, gonna drag from this base color and I'm gonna type constant but I'm not gonna pick that constant that we just did I'm gonna pick constant tree vector so this is going to give us three parameters red green and blue we can also double click this to open up our color picker and I'm gonna make this I'm gonna type 0.4 for the red color so that it's not fully red but it's like dark red not bright red that's good and now I'm gonna select this base and here in the blend mode I'm gonna select translucent now this will unlock the opacity for us we don't need the other parameters if you do need these you're gonna have to do some more configuration but for now that's all we need so from the opacity I'm gonna get constant again and I'm gonna type 0.6 now we can save this and as you can see it's translucent and we're going to do the same thing oh I messed up this is green one so I need this to be 0 and the next one needs to be 0.4 because this is the green one and the other one is the red one that's what happens when you don't pay attention so here again we need a constant 3 victor and double click now it's red one 0.4 ok click on the base change this to translucent drive from opacity constant and constant of 0.6 save takes a few seconds to save and there we go so we have our two materials so I'm gonna close this so we have all of these assets for now what we need to do now is we can select the settings tab or you can also go to edit and here we have project settings or 
here project settings we need our project settings let's open this up and here under the engine tab we need to find collision and here we have our trace channels basically we are going to shoot straight lines from the camera and till a certain distance and it is going to detect whether we have hit something and what it is that we have hit and so forth and we need a couple of channels for this first one I'm going to create a foundation build channel since we are going to have a foundation then also I'm going to create a floor build channel because we're going to add floor and also we need a wall build channel because we're also going to create some walls so for now this is it that's all that we need I'm gonna close this and for this tutorial that's going to be it in the next tutorial we're going to start creating and we are going to spawn our preview build so see you guys in the next tutorial